It has been a constant requirement for parents to move near school, especially if you need to register your child for their primary school education. How does the latest calculation in the homeschool distance work when it comes to selecting your property? Hi everyone, I'm Desmond from Portpedia. Premier 1 registration exercise takes place between June to August yearly over 6 phases. Choosing a home within 1km of a popular primary school can be vital in ensuring your child has a better chance of winning the ballot during the Primary 1 registration. Priority administration will be given based on your child's citizenship and home school distance within the following order. Starting 2022, there is a change in a way to calculate this distance. Previously, the distance between the home and the school was determined using a single reference point within the school original layout. Now, the distance will be calculated using the shortest distance from a point on the boundary of the school to the applicant's home. This result in slightly over 10 more percent of homes be included within 1 km and 2 km of primary schools. The competition intensifies as this circumference widens. To have a higher chance for almost every phrase, family must have to move even closer within the 1 km of their preferred school. So if you are thinking of enrolling into a popular primary school using your alumni status, or as a parent volunteer, you may need to stay within 1km to the school to increase your chances for those heavily oversubscribed schools. On top of that, it is a requirement to reside at the address used for registration for at least 30 months from the start of the P1 registration exercise, meaning to say you are committed physically and financially for 3 years to stay within the school zone. There are a few ways to register the address. First option and the most common option is to buy the property. If you are using the address for a resale property you have purchased, you will move into the new resale property by the start of your child's primary one academic year. However, if you are using the address of yet to be completed property, the delivery possession date must be within two years of your child's entry into P1. So for 2022 Premier 1 registration exercise, the date of the new property must be no later than 31st December 2024. The 30 months requirement will be starting from the time you and your family move into the new home. Second option, if your child is under the care of a grandparents or a parent sibling, then you can use the caregiver's address within 2km of preferred school. Please note that even if the caregiver is staying within 1km of the school, it will be balloting together with those that is staying between 1 to 2km of the school. Third option, you can always consider renting near the school. Renting a property near the school is not as easy considering the high demand and the cost of staying at least 30 months. To understand if you are buying or renting is more viable option, there is a few costs that you need to account to do the comparison. Here is one of the real case study of our client who is in dilemma whether to get a resale or rent because they need to enroll in school but they are concerned with the affordability. Mr. Raymond, a family of five looking to stay within one kilometer for the daughter primary school to CHIJ Tapayo and for the boy St. Joseph Institution Junior. We found them a condo in B11, Novena area over 1,200 square feet rental at 3,800. At the same time, he bought a new launch, 3 bader at 1.2 million with us. The gap to the TLP of the development is 3 years. Calculating the 3 years cost of the family interest payable to the bank is $178 per month. There is no maintenance fee payable, no property tax during its construction phase. The cost per month for Raymond will be 3,800 rental and interest which will average work out to be $4,000 per month. The total cost is about 140 k in comparison, if they are to purchase a resale condo within 1 km of the school area, it's easily 2 million. It will mean that the installment of 5177 of which interest payable every month will be 1852. On top of that, you will be also need to pay maintenance fee, say 350, and the property tax about $300. The total cost works out to be 2502 monthly and likely he needs to renovate the property which easily cost him another $80,000. The 3 year cost of buying a resale property near school will be 170 k and monthly commitment of 5827 for the family. 
Both cost and monthly commitment is higher if they choose to buy a resale property in the area. One year apart, today, Mr. Raymond, new property value at 1.42 million appreciated from the initial purchase price of 1.2 million. Now, only they have obtained paper gain of 220,000. They not only get to enjoy the comfort of the space for the family at the preferred neighborhood and the convenience within the school vicinity. More importantly, the family achieved lower and more manageable monthly commitments. He also has the flexibility to continue renting and rent out his condo to reduce his monthly commitment. However, this is an ideal scenario which doesn't apply to everyone. Considerably, the rental price of the unit you want to stay versus the budget of your purchase will be very crucial for the whole scenario. Therefore, from the above example, other than considering the distance to the school, there are a few essential criteria for property that parents should look out for. Its availability for occupancy, the quantum for affordability, size and layout for functionality, accessibility, and if it's a 99 year or freehold for the price retention. Real estate has become a crucial part for all parents planning and needs to plan early and prudently. If you find this video useful, do share and follow me by clicking the link below. Feel free to reach out to me and Eve at the number. See ya!